In this video, I'm gonna give you some shooting accuracy tips so that you never miss the net again. It's Coach Jack with 24-7 Hockey. Now, obviously, I'm kinda of joking around a little bit, right? You're gonna miss the net, that's gonna happen. And that's okay, okay? Missing the net is not the problem. So we talk about shooting accuracy, we talk about hitting the net. The goal of always hitting the net isn't necessarily a great goal. The goal should be to create high quality scoring chances and to bury the puck, to actually score the goal. And to score goals once in a while you're gonna miss the net, okay? But we wanna hit the net as much as possible because you can't score if you don't hit the net. But we wanna score, okay? That's the goal. So if you, if you see what we're gonna cover in this video, it's not about never missing the net again. It's about making sure we're hitting the net as much as possible. It's about making sure that we're shooting that puck accuracy, but we're shooting it so that we can actually score goals. So I'm gonna give you things, some things to avoid in this video, and I'm also gonna give you some tips for your shot that you can work on off the ice, you can work on on the ice, you can work on in dry land, you can work on with your roller blades on, okay? Different tips and drills that you can be doing. So we'll start off here. The number one mistake that you're gonna make and why you're missing the net all the times in games or why you're getting your shot blocked, the way that you're training. So if you're training with no pressure on you and you don't have any type of pressure, you don't have any type of urgency, that's not game situation specific. The more game situation specific you can make your training, the better your accuracy is gonna be and the better your goal scoring is gonna be. Here's an example, right? If I have a few pucks here and this is how I shoot. I don't really know where I want to go. Maybe I'm going to go upper corner. Maybe I'm going to go upper left, upper right, but I don't have a specific plan. In between shots, I'm going to stick handle a little bit and I'm going to shoot. Grab it, stick handle, shoot. Okay? Of course, when I get into a game situation, I'm going to be panicking. I'm going to miss the net because that's not training game situation specific. Right? You have to work on quick release, you have to work on all shots at one target, and you should be tracking the shots that you're shooting, right? So now, if I'm gonna do it a little bit differently, I'm gonna have 20 shots. I'm gonna go five pucks at each target, I'm gonna shoot five at a time, I'm gonna shoot them as quick as I can, I'm gonna work on different technique. So maybe here, I'll work on how I'm, now my toes are facing the puck. So five shots all at one corner, so maybe I'm gonna go, let's just say I go lower right. Five shots lower right, toes facing the puck. How many did I hit out of five? How quick did I shoot them? Then you can do that same thing, toe at the net. So here we are right here. Now we're shooting those same pucks, toe facing the net, working on good technique. Then we can do that same thing, feet moving, right? So now we're doing this with our feet moving and releasing the puck in stride. Now we're getting more game situation specific. We're not stick handling in between, we're releasing that puck quick. You can do that now for all four corners. So each time you go through, you go through for all four corners, that's five shots at each corner, that's 20 shots. You can add five hole in there, okay? You can add six or seven hole in there, that would make 25, 30, 35 shots. How many did you hit out of those? That gives you your score, and now you're working on building accuracy, so you can try to improve that score each time without taking your time in between shots, keeping the intensity there, keeping the urgency there, right? So if I'm gonna shoot five pucks, okay, I'm gonna shoot them quick, I'm gonna shoot them like this, all right? Okay, how many stick handles did you notice in between those shots? How much time did I take in between those shots. Are shots like that game situation specific? Do you have to release the puck quick like that in a game? Or can you take your time? Can you stick handle? Can you stare at your target? Can you stick handle some more? Well, yeah, in a game you're gonna miss the net because you didn't practice to hit the net. You practiced like an average hockey player. You practiced like a bum. So start practicing like an elite player and you're gonna get an elite result when you're in a game, you're gonna hit the net more often. So that's the first tip. The next tip to build more accuracy, to stop missing the net and to score more goals is you need to build a compact shot release, okay? What I mean by that is that your shooting release can't be from back here to way up here, okay? The longer your shooting release, the longer it's gonna take you to get your shots off and the less accurate you're gonna be. That shooting release needs to be compact right in here, okay, and that's gonna give you that quick release and it's gonna help you build more accuracy. It's gonna help you build more accuracy because when you're back here and you're way up here, you're just flinging the puck, okay? Here, you're firing it. 
it's like a, this is, this right here is like a cannon, okay? And this right here is like a sniper rifle, right? Just pop, you're sniping that puck. So you wanna build that compact shot release in order to do that, okay, whether you're facing the puck, you're facing the net, you need to be able to get your hands out away from your body, you need to be able to create leverage over that stick, use the flex of your stick and release that puck quick by bringing that hand in and the bottom hand comes through, okay? So we don't wanna be firing the puck like this and just hoping that we're hitting targets, okay? Again, you wanna follow that method of having five pucks or 10 pucks or three pucks for whatever drill that you're going through. And then you wanna build that compact release. Okay, so you have that short, quick, compact release on that shot. And you're gonna be able to not only control that aim better, you're gonna be able to shoot the puck harder, get more shots off, catch the goalie off guard, which is gonna help you score more goals. And with, during your release, you're gonna be able to put that stick blade at the target you wanna be able to hit, all right? So if I wanna be going low corners, I'm keeping that release low, okay? You'll see players in the NHL that get that toe pointed at the target. You'll see other players that leave that stick blade a little bit more open, but the mechanics are still the same. The mechanics are weight over the shot, top hand out, bottom hand comes through, okay? So no matter if you leave the stick blade open, or you get the stick blade turned over a little bit, the mechanics are the same with that nice, tight, compact release. So tip number two, you wanna build more accuracy. You wanna hit the net, you wanna score more goals, you wanna have a quicker release. You need to be able to control that shot technique, keep it nice and compact, okay? Not wide, long, Okay, out of control. You want that compact, under control, quick, powerful shot release. Again, think of that quick sniper rifle where you're just firing quick and you're able to hit those targets. The last tip to build more accuracy is actually implementing game situation movement patterns. So these are different movements and different tactics that you're gonna be using in a game. Whether it be having a defender on you, whether it be having the puck on the blue line, entering the offensive zone, coming out of the corner, right? Because the more you can train those game situations, the more you're gonna be confident in those situations when you're actually in a game, right? So if you're always just shooting stationary, okay? or straight ahead. What happens in a game when you're entering the zone with the puck, you're cutting to the middle, you're coming out of the corner, you're walking across the blue line, you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you have a player that's trying to defend you. So implement those game situations, right? Implement getting the puck off a pass and not being able to pick your head up and look at your target and you gotta shoot quick with your head down and feel where that net is and feel where that target is. Implement coming down in a one-on-one -on -one situation, okay, and having to cut to the middle and then releasing that puck in stride. <clears throat> Implement as a defenseman getting that puck on the blue line, walking across the blue line, okay, bring it into your body and then releasing it. So you need to implement these different game situations. Well, what does that mean? That means shooting off a pass with no stick handling. That means working on your one-timers. That means coming down and shooting in stride, okay? That means looking down at the puck when you get it off of a pass or when you're in a tight area and not being able to stare at the net and stare at the target and having to feel where those corners are on the net because that's what's gonna happen in a game. A lot of times in the NHL, you see players, they're looking for a pass, okay, to deceive the goalie, deceive the defender, and boom, they release that puck without ever looking at the net. They only turn their head to the net as that puck's actually released off their stick. And I've got NHL game film breakdowns of players doing that over and over and over again, okay? Some of the best players in the NHL, some of the best goal scorers in the NHL are using that technique where they're not looking at their target. They're shooting the puck, they're feeling where those corners are, they know the corners they wanna aim at, and that's how they're scoring goals and they're building accuracies, but you have to train that way. Those types of uh, skills don't just happen, right? They don't happen by stick handling the puck, stick handling the puck, staring at the target, and then shooting. You need to train those game situations. So start to implement more game situation movements. Think about situations in a game that you find yourself in where you're getting shots on net. Like I said, coming around the top of the circle, in the high slot off of a pass, 
defensemen from the, offense, from the offensive blue line walking to the middle, all right, entering the offensive zone on your strong side, on your weak side. Think about those situations and then put drills together and go through those over and over and over again so you're building confidence and you're building accuracy in those situations and that's gonna help you score more goals. I hope this video helped you understand what it's gonna to take to build more accuracy with their shot, but more importantly, start scoring more goals. It's not just about not missing the net, it's about hitting the net, but shooting that puck to score and being able to shoot that puck in game situations and scoring goals in game situations. Now, if you want a free scoring secrets workout, like I said, we have a free scoring secrets workout. It's a 10 minute workout. It's gonna help you build more accuracy. It's gonna help you build more shot power, help you build a quicker release, help you understand what it's gonna to take to make more plays with the puck and score more goals with the puck. And that workout is going to be free. It's a 10 minute workout you can do before practice or after practice. It's gonna be a link in the description. There's gonna be a link in the top comments of this video and there's gonna be a link I'm gonna put right here for you. So get that 10 minute scoring secrets workout today. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button because we're releasing new videos every week. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you wanna see do, us do next. Let me, so, let me know what video you wanna see next and hit that like button. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.